Good morning, South Rock, and welcome to week 31 of the Story Devotions. This is the final one. It has been a great 31 weeks to be here with you and devote you to different things through the whole Bible, through the whole storybook. This is Revelation, and Revelation is always a touchy subject. It's something that people don't want to talk about, people don't want to touch with a 10-foot pole. You really won't hear it preached, you won't hear it taught a lot because there's so many theories and thoughts and opinions and I have mine, and everybody on staff has theirs. And uh, Rick Osbaugh, yeah, uh, last week he said, you know, he's a pan millennialist because he thinks it'll all pan out in the end. And, you know, there's all these different opinions, but it's so important to still read it and still study it and still look at it because there's so many important and worthwhile things here and things that instruct the church and tell the church just what to do and how to feel and what to look for. And one of my favorite verses is actually in Revelation. And it comes on the next to last page before the epilogue uh, on page 469 in this red book. The spirit and the bride say, come. And let the one who hears say, come. Let the one who is thirsty come and let the one who wishes take the free gift of the water of life. I love that verse because it is an open invitation from Jesus in the church saying, everybody's welcome. Everybody can come in. Just come. If you're thirsty, we have living water. If you're alone, come. If you hear this, come. Everybody needs to get here, get to the church, get to the cross, be with Jesus. And I, I love this verse. It is just such a, it's a warm, fuzzy verse to me in a book that people are confused about and concerned about when really at the end it can boil down to that. This is Jesus saying, there's going to come a time where I'm back. And so before then, come to me because I'm full of grace and love. But what's really cool is the first line. I love the spirit and the bride. Now that's obviously the Holy Spirit, but the bride is the church. So both the Holy Spirit and the bride of Christ, the church are saying, come and hear the word, come and enjoy rest, come and enjoy what Jesus has. And we as members of the church are called to do this, are called to go yell into the world, come here. And so this is my final devotion to you, the final thing to admonish, uh, devote you to, and kind of teach about. Who can you, this week and going forward, come to and say, come here. Let me tell you about Jesus. Let me show you who Jesus is. Because we have neighbors, we have friends, we have people we know, co-workers, children, grandchildren, all sorts of places where we are bound to meet someone who doesn't believe, who doesn't know the joy or the peace that comes with knowing who Christ is. And so this week and forward from here on out, be the church with the spirit in tow, spirit in your hearts. Look for these people that need to hear the words, come and rest, have this living water and don't be thirsty anymore. So that is all I have for not only this week, but for the story. So it has been an honor to do this with you and I'll see you around.